Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing this makeup look right here, which is perfect for New Year's Eve, which is actually tonight. So if you wanna see how to do this very wearable, perfect for the office look, then just keep watching. As always, the first thing we're gonna do is prime our eyes. And for that, I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty Eye Primer. I'm just applying a thin layer of that all over. And then we're gonna buff that out with a Zoeva 142 brush. Next, I'm gonna take my KVD Tattoo Liner in Trooper, and we're going to create a rough guide of the shape. So I'm gonna go out. And then we're going to bring it in. Like I said, rough guide. Now that that rough guide is there, I'm just going to perfect the shape. So I want this to come out a little bit longer. Like that. We're gonna fill it in so it doesn't have to be perfect. Bring this out a little bit. Okay, so I like that shape, so I'm gonna go off camera and perfect the lines with this liner. Okay, so you can see I just connected it right here and created a little bit of a point, and now we're going to fill it in. For this, I prefer to use a gel liner, or you can use like a cream shadow. So I'm gonna use my Melt Gel Liner in the shade Onyx. And I'm basically just gonna fill in the entire thing. So the liquid liner just allowed us to create that sharp line, and this is just going to fill it in and make it nice and opaque. So I'm just using a tiny little brush to do this. You just wanna work quick before this starts to dry. So I'm just using that same brush to kind of stamp along the edges, that way we keep that nice sharp line that we created. Okay, now that I feel good about the overall shape and the opaqueness of the liner, we're gonna go in with the blackest black eyeshadow that you own and set it. And for me, that is Black is Black from Natasha Denona. This is the My Dream Palette. And I'm just going in with another small brush and we're gonna set the entire thing. So it's just going to mattify it down and just make it even darker. So here's what that looks like with the eyeshadow all over, and you can't tell me that this isn't the blackest base you've ever seen. Next, I'm going to take the star of the show. This is the Danessa Myricks Chrome Flakes in the shade Strobe Light. It's not doing it any justice on camera, but wait till I put it over this black. Okay, and now I'm just going to apply this right on top. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to work quick before this dries. I'm using a MAC 242 brush. I'm just going to go across the entire thing. Okay, let me apply this before it dries. Okay, here is what that's looking like. I'm gonna pop on some mascara and lashes really quick and then we'll do the lower lash line. So I just popped on my Kiss Lashes in Ruffle and I'm going to do some rhinestones as well. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my Duo Lash Glue and kind of dot around the tear duct area. And I'm just going in with tiny little rhinestones. I'm gonna dot them around. So I'm gonna do one here. And then I'm gonna do one right up here. And because why not, I'm going to do a couple through here. Yeah, like that. That's kind of fun. I'm going to do some mascara on the bottom lashes really quick. Okay, here's how it looks with just mascara on the bottom lashes. I'm going to put a blue liner in my waterline. I feel like... That's just going to make it pop even more. This one is by Urban Decay in Vivid. I don't know if they still make it. I definitely think that if I had a blue that matched the lid, it would look better, but I don't have one. So we're going to go with the lighter blue. But yeah, that is the entire look. I think this is so fun for like New Year's Eve, which is literally tonight. So yeah, just let me know what you guys want to see in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.